Sleep is a very difficult thing for many of us to achieve anymore, and a lot of it has to do with the environments that we're in. We're exposed to a lot of electronics during the nighttime, which interfere with our sleep. And then in the daytime, we end up working in dim office environments or sitting in dim classrooms, and that sends our body a message, oh, go to sleep. And this is a problem that's now actually created by technology, so we can start to look at, maybe we can use some technology to address the problem. You fix something once in your environment and then it's there and you know, you're, you know you're going to get a better night's sleep. And some of it's very low tech, you can go from earplugs and especially on campuses where students are living in residence, it's noisy, they don't have much control over their environment, sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes they need to run something like a fan or download a white noise app onto their computer or onto their smartphone and that works really well. Sometimes something as simple as using an eye mask. If you can black out the light, that's one of the best things that you can do at night to help yourself sleep. In the daytime, a lot of us don't get enough light exposure. And so things like a light box like this, um, that you can set for exposures, you know, twice a day, 20 minutes, first thing in the morning, and then again at lunchtime, for a lot of people makes all the difference so that their bodies stay alert and produce the chemicals and the hormones that you need so that you can have a good night's sleep. This type of a device, it's called a retimer, is an alternative to the light box, 20 minutes twice a day. It has little LED lights in it that will give you enough bright light exposure that it helps to alert your system so that you're more um, awake during the daytime. Going back to the evening light exposure though, it's the blue end of the light spectrum that alerts us, right? That tells our bodies, don't make melatonin, stay awake. I personally use them for about an hour and a half, two hours before I go to bed, and it just allows my body to make melatonin so that I can fall asleep. This is a sleep mask that actually has a, an MP3 um, function within it so that you can listen to relaxing music while you've got the light turned off. And then the last thing, NASA invented this, it's to go to the space station. It blocks out blue spectrum light. It doesn't make everything look orange, it just sort of the room looks normal. Once you install a light bulb or you get used to putting your goggles on or you use a sleep mask, they're pretty straightforward things, right? You don't have to keep changing every, it, it's not a big ask. So those are the kinds of things I think we need to be paying more attention to the technology that's available.